get online. So I'm recording the screen, okay? Now I have a very special guest with me right now. And my special guest is here to read you all a very good story. And it has something to do with today's breakfast. So I hope everybody has today's breakfast, okay? Let me introduce you to my very special guest. Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Bowles. I have a story, of course, to read to you. And as Miss Larios just introduced, it's a very wonderful story. It's a story that I think all of you will be able to understand and relate to. So, story is called Peanut Butter and Jelly Brains. The words by Joe McGee and the pictures are by Charles Santoso. Mmm, look at that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yum. Again, I hope you have yours, because that way you'll understand exactly what the story is all about. The other zombies wanted brains for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but not Reginald. Reginald was not like the other zombies. All Reginald wanted was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Brains moaned the zombies, zombie horde, shuffling through the streets of Corkville. Wherever the zombies went, people ran, screaming in fear. Nobody wanted their brains eaten. Not for breakfast, not for lunch, not even for dinner. Reginald didn't shuffle with them. His stomach rumbled and growled. And all he could do was dream about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, sweet jelly, moaned Reginald. Sticky peanut butter. No brains, said Reginald. Peanut butter and jelly. The other zombies shook their heads. If you tried peanut butter and jelly, said Reginald, you'd never want brains again. But the zombies, they just shambled off. Reginald went to the corner cafe and tried to order a sandwich. But the man behind the counter shook his head and pointed to the sign. Look at that sign. It says, no zombies allowed. He tried the school cafeteria, but the lunch lady slapped a hunk of meatloaf on his tray instead. It looked an awful lot like brains. Reginald even tried Oscar's grocery, but when Oscar ran up, rang up the loaf of bread, the peanut butter, and the strawberry jelly, Reginald couldn't pay. Sorry, said Oscar, paying customers only. Reginald left the store and his groceries behind. Across the street, stood a little girl, stood little Abigail Zink, the smartest girl in Quirkville. She carried a lunch bag in her hand. Reginald recognized the familiar jelly stain that was seeping through the paper bag. Peanut butter and jelly, he moaned. The zombie horde shuffled and shambled around the corner. Brains, they moaned, licking their lips at the sight of little, little Abigail Zink. The townspeople froze in their tracks, including the mayor and his prancing poodle. Suddenly, little Abigail Zink dropped her bag holding her peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Reginald lurched forward and seized it. He raised the jelly stained bag to his lips. He could practically taste the delicious sticky peanut butter and the sweet strawberry jelly. Little Abigail let out a shriek. The mayor's poodle yipped and yapped. The townspeople all screamed, ah! If the other zombies could just smell the peanut butter, Reginald thought, if they could just taste the sweet jelly. Brains, cried Reginald, holding up the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Brains, mowed the zombies, reaching for the sandwich. Reginald threw it into the crowd of drooling zombies. And when the zombies 
tore into the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Their eyes lit up. Not brains, they said, licking their lips. Mm, yummy, better than brains. The zombies rubbed their bellies, and the townspeople smiled. Why, they're just hungry, declared the mayor, and the peanut butter and jelly does the trick. Peanut butter and jelly did do the trick. The zombies no longer wanted brains, and the townspeople were no longer afraid of the zombies. Soon, the zombies were a regular part of Quartzville. They collected the garbage, walked the dogs, swept the streets. They were happy to help and even happier to be paid in peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But Reginald, he still wasn't like the other zombies because while they were enjoying their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Reginald had moved on to pizza. Wasn't that a great story, boys and girls? Again, peanut butter and jelly. It's delicious. You can't deny it. Have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for another story. Bye-bye.